in Louisville, this town's economy relies so heavily on its signature spirit. The mayor has actually coined the term bourbonism. I mean, tourists come from all over the world here to sit on Whiskey Row and sample the goods or visit distillers on the bourbon trail. And globally, you have drinkers who are beginning to develop a taste for bourbon as well. In the last five years, in fact, American whiskey has doubled its share of uh, the Chinese market. It's now at 9%. It's really chipping away at the dominance of Scotch whiskey. Many distillers, both large and small, make strategic plans for growth based on global expansion. Kentucky Peerless Distilling is hoping to sell in seven countries in the next couple years, but trying to factor in these stiff new tariffs. I think it is going to change things just a little bit. You know, I'm building warehouses. I constantly have uh, additions going into our distillation equipment, our grain milling, uh, our bottling line. So to think that there's a chance that we will not be able to utilize everything that we're putting forward, uh, you know, is a problem. The Kentucky Distillers Association is suggesting that the Trump administration sit down with our overseas trading partners, they say perhaps over a glass of bourbon, and, you know, resolve their differences. Michelle, Wilf. So the, a bottle of bourbon is going to go up by how much with these tariffs imposed? Do they give you any sense? I mean, it's going to be more expensive to a foreign consumer if they pass that on, right? If they, if they pass it on. But now, imagine this. If you're selling an ultra-exclusive bourbon, say $5,000 bottle, and you've got that bottle now going for, what, $62.50? Will that be enough to dissuade a Chinese customer to move on to cognac? Or will it become more alluring because it's now more luxurious and ultra-exclusive? They just don't know how to factor this in right now. But the small guys are scared. Or go, or go on to a bit of Scotch whiskey. I'm sure those guys are watching it closely. I have to say, Contessa, as, as live shots go, this has got Friday <laughs> afternoon written all over it. Perfect. Well, it is, it is, I'm sure, happy hour now here in Louisville. By the way, you guys, I also picked out Angel's Envy. Uh, Michter's has been really working hard to open up the Chinese market as well. I thought for you, Michelle, being the foreign correspondent. And for you, Will, <laughs> there's this Russell's Reserve. Jimmy Russell's been the master distiller for 65 years. He knows the ins and outs and everything. I thought you might appreciate that one. I like it very I, I would take any of them, frankly. But uh, now my favorite correspondent. Okay. I can't put them on the plane. They won't let me bring it on the plane. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.